What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to go through this algebra word problem. It's a consecutive day word problem requested by one of my viewers. And we have at the arcade, Nick spent 203 tokens on video games in seven days. And we have each day he spent five more tokens than the previous day. And we want to know how many tokens did Nick spend on the third day. So this is like the actual question. So for this one here, what we could do is we could just make a list to start this to get an idea of what's going on. So we have the first day. And then we're going to have the second day, and we'll do this all the way up to the seventh day. So for this list here, what we could say is on the first day, let's say that Nick uses X tokens. And then on the second day, he uses five more than the previous day. So five more than X would be X plus five. And now the idea for the next part is five more than X plus five would be X plus five plus five, which would be X plus 10. So we could use this information to fill out the rest of the table. So x plus 10 would go next. And then if we add 5 again, we would have x plus 15. Because we're just doing 10 plus 5 is 15. Then we'd have x plus 20. And we'd have x plus 25. And then on the last day, the seventh day, Nick uses x plus 30 tokens. So now we know in total, Nick spent 203 tokens. So we're going to add all of this up. So if you add up the x's, x plus x plus x plus itself seven times would make 7x. But then we'd have plus, and if we add up the numbers, we have 5 plus 10 is 15. And then we'd have these two here, 15 plus 15 is 30. And then 30 plus 20 is 50. And we keep this going. 50 plus 25 is 75. And then 75 plus 30 is 105. So we have 7x plus 105 equals... 203. So now we're just going to solve for x, but we have to be careful here. Once we solve for x, we're going to subtract 105. And if we do the subtraction here, this is going to cancel. We have 7x equals, and we can't do 3 minus 5 because 5 is bigger than 3. But if we borrow, we can make this a 19, and then 13 minus 5 is 8, and 19 minus 10 is 9. So if we divide by 7, this is going to tell us now x is equal to 7 goes into 9 once, we have a little remainder 2, and 7 goes into 28 four times. So x equals 14, but you have to be careful, this is not the answer. We are trying to find here how many tokens did Nick spend on the third day. So notice the third day was x plus 10. So we're trying to find the value of x plus 10. So on the third day, we could say Nick spent 14 plus 10, uh, and this is tokens. So Nick spent 24, and we'll just put the units here, 24 tokens. So this is our answer to this word problem. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on this algebra consecutive day word problem. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics or questions you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.